There we go, Brewster. Thank you very much. Some delicious cinnamon tea to start my day would be perfect. Oh, I love how quiet and gentle like this whole experience is. It's best to drink it fresh before it cools. All right, let's go ahead and have a sip. I've always just gone ahead and drank it before letting it go too cold. Yowza! <laughs> All right, well, that's not how I thought we would begin this morning, but hello, everyone, and welcome back to Wildberry Island, where I thought I would share a nice, lovely cup of tea with all of you as we stretch and get ready for the great, beautiful day that is going to be here on our wonderful island. Drink it while it's hot. That's when it's at its freshest. Oh, see, I have some peach tea cooling next to me right now, ready to go ahead and drink while we go about celebrating whatever the island has to show us today. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you, Brewster. But good morning, everyone! So now that we are all zipped up and full of whatever little caffeine that I'm sure Brewster slipped into my tea there, it's time to go ahead and celebrate another beautiful day on our wonderful island, which is just, oh, I'm so happy! I am so happy, you guys! I can't believe that we actually are going to possibly be able to do some cooking with my beloved son, Cranston. We have his little farm to actually go check in so we can work on all the produce. And you guys, you won't believe it! I found the most amazing island with Kappa last night. Okay, okay, let me see, let me see. I'm pretty sure, ta-da! Look at all of these star fragments. It was so cool, you guys. When I got off of Kappa's boat to his mystery island tour last night, he took me to a shooting star island. The stars were shooting overhead. There were star fragments littering the beach. It was so beautiful. And then when I went up and I started knocking on all of the rocks with my shovel, a whole bunch of fragments popped out, including star fragments that I had never seen before. I even found another one of the Aries DIYs, which was pretty exciting, to be honest. Oh, and it was just so beautiful. There were even some of the very first vines that I found on that island. So that was really thrilling. I can't believe it. We have Taurus fragments, which are green. I didn't know these are green. We've got Aries fragments and Aquarius fragments, Libra fragments, Leo fragments, a whole bunch of them that I have never seen before. I really hope there'll be a way to bring Celeste to our island more often in the future. I also managed to go ahead and catch a diving beetle, horse mackerel, and a couple of these beautiful beautiful butterflies and moths that were all over the island as well. It was so magical. So I'm thinking maybe today we will go ahead and we will celebrate with more of Kappa's amazing, fantastic island tours. First thing, instead of going ahead and waiting to put it off to the very last thing like we have been doing, just in case he wants to take us somewhere special again. And also, Chips and I went to his island and we spent a whole bunch of time going ahead and doing some deep sea diving, swimming together, and I got this Venus flowers basket. You guys, this is such a rare and beautiful deep sea coral. You can actually see inside of it, it has a couple little shrimp. This is a fascinating specimen of the deep sea that grows as a very, very fragile coral that catches shrimp, just a few, but it catches shrimp when they're still small larvae and can slip in between the walls and the bars of this coral. And then the shrimp grow up inside of this Venus flowers basket. And once they're big, they can never leave. So what happens is these species of shrimp, usually you'll end up with a male and a female inside of these Venus flowers baskets. And that's how they get their name. The, you know, Venus, the goddess of love. Well, you have a male and a female shrimp trapped forever together inside of this coral and they live out their entire lives in this little home that's also kind of a protective cage for them and eventually when they go ahead and have their own spawn and they they send their eggs off into the currents of the ocean then those eggs will end up somehow which just boggles me that this can happen inside of this coral and the next generation will eventually arrive so venus flowers baskets are just amazingly fascinating and i couldn't believe it when we pulled one up it was the only one we found yesterday and i also found this crab check him out i'm sure that brewster doesn't mind me waving crabs around his little um cafe that's fine and then chips also gave us an evergreen ash tree and it's so cute i can't wait to show you guys what it looks like all right but let's go ahead and get started i'm full of adventure and excitement today and i think cranston's farm is even going to be ready to harvest 
which means we'll be able to go ahead and gather up potentially enough bells to go and get another one of Harv's co-ops uh, constructed. So there's a lot going on. I'm so happy. All right, very quietly, very gently. Blathers, sorry to wake you up. Do you need like a coffee from upstairs maybe? Good morning, Siri. Welcome to the Wildberry Museum. How may I be of service? All right, let's go ahead and make a donation. Marvelous! What would you like to donate? Alright, let's start with the Venus flowers basket, because I've really fallen for it. Oh! Woohoo! Woohoo! This is undoubtedly a Venus flower basket! Now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your Venus's flower basket? Wonderful! I would love nothing more! The Venus flower basket looks like an otherworldly creature one would find on an alien planet. But it is instead a remarkable deep-sea sponge found in the deepest parts of the ocean. Its body is composed of silica and looks like a sculpture, or perhaps a vase made of glassy mesh. I dare say the Venus's flower basket is one of nature's most impressive works of art. And there you have it! Fascinating stuff, no? Yes, that is fascinating, but Blathers, you didn't even talk about the shrimp species that ends up caught inside of that, like, cage home for their entire lives. Trust me, like, there's so much more to the Venus flowers basket than just that, guys. It's such a fascinating thing to look up. Alright, let's go ahead and donate this crab as well. How exciting that we got a couple new species to add to our museum while I was hanging out with chips. Hooty hoo! This must be... A Dungeness Crab! Now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your Dungeness Crab? Absolutely. The Dungeness Crab wears a pretty fan-shaped shell that's often done up in purple hues. But eye-catching colors aside, this fellow can be surprisingly hard to spot. That's because the Dungeness Crab is something of an expert hider. When scared, it plays a nifty trick. That is, it buries itself beneath the sand with impressive speed. Now you see me, now you don't. It says it vanishes before your very eyes. And there you have it. <laughs> that was amazing! Thank you so much, Blathers! Alright, we'll have to go and check on those little fish fish at some point in the future. The fish fish and the coral, I should say. Alright, jolly good, Blathers. I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, let's see. Thank you very much! I'll see you later! <laughs> oh. oh, and Kix is here today, guys! So we can see if there's, like, some cute socks and accessories to go ahead and buy. Oh, I love being back on Wildberry! I have been having so many ideas and so many dreams of what we could go ahead and add to the island, too. Like the farmer's market! I have not forgotten that idea because I wrote it down for once. Oh, Ani, good morning! I so had a feeling that I'd run into you again today. Okay, so lately I've been craving French toast nonstop. It's one of those classic dishes you can dress up or dress down, depending on the situation. And when I'm in the mood for a fancy meal, I like to cover the whole thing with whipped cream and sprinkles. It's like a savory sundae! Top it off with an apple garnish and you've got a four-star meal. Well, actually, I gave it five stars, because I'm biased. I can't wait, wait to hear what you think, Siri. Like, I would love to make you some French toast, are you kidding me? Like... I thought she was going to hand me over a recipe. I was I was here for that. I was ready to go ahead and whip her up French toast. I think I can only do pancakes right now, but I don't have any sugar. So I really need to get my hands on some sugar cane somehow. Also, good morning, Kix. All right, what does he got today? Slip on school shoes. Oh my gosh, these jester shoes. Chips would absolutely love these. I'm going to have to go ahead and get that for him. <gasps> the little hand knit pouch. Oh, that seems so ridiculously autumnal. I want it. Yes, yes, I'm buying it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kix. I should definitely get your place built on the co-op island, too. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so cute. Thank you very much, Kix. All right, let's go ahead and kitty sneakers. All right, I'm getting these Jester shoes for my beloved. Because that's just too perfect for him. He's going to love those. All right, thank you very much, Kix. Also, these socks are cute. <laughs> I, I can't help it. I just want everything. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get the wave print socks. I need to go ahead and get the expansion for our storage because apparently Siri has a gigantic closet full of clothes that she just continually adds to. But how could you resist the cuteness of all this stuff? All right, thank you very much, Kix. I might buy some more stuff later. Oh, Adi's being so cute. Adi, 
I can't wait to give you gifts. Adi's been so cool so far, guys. She has been doing so many amazing facts. She shared facts with me about like a fancy word that she taught me. And then she also shared more facts with me about like the ocean. So I'm really fascinated to see what type of villager she's gonna turn out to be here on Wildberry. She seems exceptionally well-read. Oh, good morning, Sheldon. Yo, Rutabaga, working those legs? I'm off to patrol Wildberry. Rutabaga, I'm leaving that, sec uh, that sector over there for you. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's adorable. All right, so let's see. Um, do I want to stop by and see what the boys are doing? Well, I really need to empty my pockets. But look, this is silly. But I want to see if I can find a cuter hat or cuter leggings real fast. For my little dumbbell outfit I've been wearing. Oh my gosh, there's just so much stuff. Because Chips and I have been playing together more now. I just keep seeing so many things where I'm like, oh, This would be perfect for my husband! But it's so much fun to be able to come up with like fun gift ideas to give people, right? Oh, speaking of which, we need to check our mail at some point. Oh gosh, we're gonna be so busy today. All right, <laughs> the vampire costume. Oh, that would be good for him too. Oh, I've never seen the bone costume. I guess we could like have some sort of cool class on uh, like Wildberry Anatomy one day or something. Worn out jeans, nah, 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 nah. Oh, hey, it's the paperboy cap that actually matches my outfit. <gasps> that one! That one, look at it. It kind of, it doesn't match 100%, but it comes the closest to matching the reds. Okay, the brown one is really cute too. Heck, I think it's going to determine, be determined by, oh my gosh, I love the little sticky rice. Oh, knee bandages! <laughs> Are those new? That is so precious. Oh my gosh. And a cast? Oh my word. Since when? It's probably because of the hospital setting <gasps> with Happy Home Designer. Oh my goodness. Well, I don't really want to break my leg, but at the same time, this is really cute. <laughs> this is really cute. Okay, I'm going to need to go ahead and at least buy these. Uh, I don't want to wear them though. Wait, did I buy the hat? Ah, my hat. Okay, we'll go home to get the hat. Also, I have to buy this for my husband. I just, I can't resist. This is too perfect. I'm so excited. I have even more presents to give him. Thank you so much, Able Sisters. Sable, it's so good to see you. I hear we're expecting an especially chilly winter. I've made a lot of good warm stuff to choose from. I hope you find something you like. Oh, thank you so much, Sable. All right, guys, let's go back home and we're going to drop off all of these goodies. Thanks, Mabel. And we'll pop in and see what the Nookling Brothers are doing just really fast so that we can sell some of the stray stuff we have in our inventory. And then we're going to go see what Kappa is up to. I want to see more of his mystery islands. And we'll see if we can gain enough money today that we can add another co-op. They're just so cute. I love the little, like, uh, what do you call those things? I guess mobile homes? No, no. <gasps> the boys just got all my money. No way. No way. Tell me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's the greenhouse! Literally the greenhouse, you guys! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. You, you guys! Oh my gosh! That's like one of my favorite items ever. I, I've, I've seen it. I haven't seen it in the old Animal Crossing, um, but I have actually seen it in... Um, in pocket camp and it's one of my favorite items ever in pocket camp i'm kind of shocked that i'm actually looking at it oh and i haven't even shown you guys the evergreen ash yet oh this is going to be so exciting how expensive is this is this going to be because we're putting all of our money in plants i have to have this like right now yes the greenhouse box yes yes <gasps> only seventeen thousand bells i'll take it we have a greenhouse! We're gonna have to redo one of our rooms to have a greenhouse. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. And what is this? An extravagant meal. 5,000 bells? <laughs> okay, hang on. Hang on, I'm really curious about something. I've been buying a whole bunch of stuff, like food stuffs from the Nooklings, right? So, does that mean... Oh, this is the special goods, but we'll just glance over this really quickly. Do I have the DMV? I don't think I do. We'll probably have to order that. Okay, the handheld lanterns, and then let's come over. Catalog. So, apple smoothie is not for sale. 
And then birthday cake is not for sale. I wonder if you could eat the birthday cake now. It looks like you can. Okay, so the blood orange juice, we actually ordered that from the like this shop that we got it from the boys. And it looks like we can get more blood orange juice because you can't actually make it. Um, let's continue to explore for more food. Because I will buy that extravagant meal. Carry no yeah, okay, so that I can make. But there's another meal. Mom's homemade cake. Looks like it's new food now. Okay. Let me see. Aha! See, this is the other dish that I actually bought from the boys. And it looks like you can't cook this. Or if you can, like you could probably save yourself some money, but you can actually buy this from the Nookling Brothers shop, which means some of the foods, if you want to have access to, you buy. So I will buy this extravagant meal and then we should go ahead and we should go give it to somebody. I think we should give it to Gladys because it would look so good. Why did I say Gladys? To Blanche! <laughs> We should give it to Blanche. I'm so sorry, Gladys. Or like Blanche, I keep calling you Gladys. It's because I miss Gladys from our old um, Animal Crossing New Leaf game. That's okay. We're here. Our heart is now rooted in Wildberry, and I'm gonna keep it that way. All right, let's go. This is so thrilling. Oh yeah, they put down the pagoda we got. I'm gonna reorganize the island to like really have a beautiful place to show this off. Oh my gosh, and now we have a greenhouse house, and you guys. Let me show you how cool the evergreen ash that Chips gave us is. Isn't it absolutely awesome? He got this from Lottie's Island and I absolutely love it. It's going to need a more formal area to go in. Um, but I'm going to leave it there right now. Just because. Just because. It's a plant and it makes me happy. Ooh, mushroom. Mushrooms also make me happy. All right, let's go. Ooh, there's another mushroom up top. I gotta grab that, because you can turn- Oh, and another mushroom! Yay! Ooh, and actually, look! Okay, so we need a way up here, right? Well, instead of having to pull out our ladder... Ta-da! You can climb these vines! Isn't that awesome? All right, so let's see. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and dig this up. We have two gyroids to dig up for the day, too. Oh, man, I love this! We just can't get enough done in Wildberry. Hopefully I'll be able to do a lot of hard work and get enough time to be able to stream again because I want to bring you guys all home to the island. It's where we belong together as friends, right? Lunch! Not Gladys. Good morning! There you are, quite so, and I see, uh, and looking fabulous as ever, I see. I hope you have something exciting planned for today. It can be quite invigorating to change your routine. That it can. That it can, Blanche. Alright, let's go ahead and give her this extravagant meal. We are going after our bird watching uh, challenge where we're trying to get the photo frames from becoming best friends with as many bird villagers, if not all the bird villagers one day, as possible. Alright, where is that extravagant meal? <gasps> you can't eat it? That's okay. We can't eat it, but we can give it to her as a gift. An extravagant meal? There must be some kind of mistake. Is this really for me? How splendid. I've been wanting something just like this. Thank you, Siri. Oh, I wonder where I should put this. Half the fun is just thinking about it. You know what? I'm going to return the favor. Here, take this. <laughs> a concert age uniform. Oh, I guess it seems like we are. I said that word totally wrong, by the way. But I guess it seems like we are going ahead and like... <laughs> Alright, this is totally for Prince Julian. It looks perfect for him. It's even the right colors. Thank you. Thank you very much, Blanche. Alright, so she's having a good day. And meanwhile... <gasps> our carrots are ready to harvest! This is not a drill! I can now add our carrots into our little kitchen. Oh, Wildberry, how you fulfill my heart. And we also have two absolutely adorable gyroids to dig up. Well, I assume they're going to be adorable. They are mystery gyroids. So I have no idea what they're going to be, but I have a feeling it's going to be adorable. And I got that handheld lantern that's currently a limited edition item. And look how cool it looks if you put it down as decoration. It lights up at night just enough to be like very lovely. So I ordered a whole bunch more of them because they're only available for a couple more days. And we're gonna go ahead and make like a little path that we're gonna put over here. And we're gonna have these guys actually light the way very subtly. So I think that's gonna be beautiful. All right, first things first, gyrants. What do you get? A drumoid. 
and a steloid. Okay, so these two are new to me. And I got carrots. Oh, <laughs> today is so wonderful. And we haven't even had time to go to Lottie's Island and like do our work yet. I hope she doesn't think we, we like are gonna quit. Cause that's not it. I'm just really busy, Lottie. I'm sorry. All right, so here's the drumoid. <gasps> oh, I love him. Oh my gosh, I love him and I love his sounds. <gasps> He's so cool. And here's the steloid. Oh my word, it looks like a little, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it looks like a little alien or something. And then it looks like a really cool vase. You guys, what a wonderful day. I can't believe how cool today has been. Look at them all dance together. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to leave this guy outside just for a little while so that our little wiggaloid has a friend. And I love the drumoid. I'm gonna take him inside. Wow. And I got the greenhouse. That was one of the big items I wanted. Okay. And if you guys have actually seen... Here, we're going to go ahead and... Where am I going to put the greenhouse? Hmm. Hmm. I think over here. But if you guys ha saw the Animal Crossing Direct, then you saw that this greenhouse is actually a very special item because once you gain the ability to polish your furniture, it actually has a bunch of butterflies that show up around it. So we absolutely need to go and work on Lottie's Island and be able to like add the, the polishing and cleaning effect to our plants in our house pretty soon. That's gonna be, oh, I'm just, I'm so happy you guys. I'm so happy. All right, let's see. I'm gonna stick the little drumoid over here. He's so cute. And he can be friends with everybody else. And then we're gonna go ahead. I could drop the vines. Okay, the decorative vines are actually beautiful. And I'm gonna put the peacock butterfly in storage and the yucca in storage. I got an Aries rocking chair, which I already know. Classic library wall, already know. And then is this my hat? Oh no, this is Chips's hat. Okay, I, I need to go ahead. I'm gonna leave this on the ground even though it, it's really messy. I apologize. But I'm gonna leave that on the ground so I remember to take that to my beloved husband, Chips. Uh, ditto with the Jester shoes. Because I know he's gonna love those. Our house is a mess, but today we're not cleaning the house. <laughs> so don't don't panic about that. And then let's try the hand- oh, the hand knit pouch is so cute. Alright, we're gonna say that we crocheted that ourselves. I've been trying to learn crochet because my mom really wants me to because um, she's really good at it, but I am not very good at it. So I'm trying to figure out how to get better. All right, let's put these in storage too. Let's see, the dandy hat. Cranston actually gave me this dandy hat last night. He said he thought it would look really good with my outfit. All right. I've got to give this to Julian at some point, but we're busy today, unfortunately. I'm already out of time. There we go. And we still need to like pluck up a bunch of the veggies that were growing on the island. I need to go and see if I have enough money from selling those veggies that we'll be able to get ourselves. There we are. Wow, so many beautiful fragments. Another co-op. That's my goal. All right, phew. We're doing good, guys. I know it's a little chaotic and messy, but I think we're doing really good. You can only tackle so much every day after all. You gotta be nice and patient and gentle with yourself while you handle all of the unexpected twists and turns that each day has. Oh, that's so cute, I love it. Look at our little kitchen. I can't wait to light it up even better. Oh, I, I already put one of the ceiling lights in here and it helps so much. Oh, I should order another one. Oh, in fact, I should do that right now. Yes, catalog. Oh, look at that. Look how easy it is. Oh, I love that. Another, like, just like that, I've ordered another one. Oh, I forgot that you could just come over here. And I could just order more walls. Oh, that's going to make decor. Wait a second. Why are there... Okay, I didn't think you could actually decorate these guys, like, buy these guys, but good to know. That's probably just the catalog, so you can keep an eye on all of them. All right. So now that all of that is done, Gyroid Getter. <gasps> Distinctive Curator. Oh, I love that title. That's really cute. 
Collect different kinds of gyroids and earn miles in return. I suspect once you experience life in their presence, you'll find it hard to resist hunting more, hmm? Indeed, I do find it hard to resist hunting more. So let's change our little outfit up just a, a wee bit. And then we're going to go ahead and we will see what Kappa's Island has for us today. I can't believe I got the greenhouse. That just brings me so much joy. <laughs> That's literally like one of the number one items that I wanted to get from this, all the new updates and everything. All right, the dandy hat's pretty cute. I will admit that. However, the paperboy cap, I'm kind of feeling the paperboy cap. I'm kind of feeling the pink paperboy cap right now. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna not wear anything whilst I wait to be able to go get that. And so in the accessories, I think that it's gonna, oh, those are fishnet tights. No, thank you. No, thank you. I just wanted something, okay, that's really cute. And I love the knit bag, but I guess it doesn't quite match the way I was hoping it would. And look, there's the cast. <laughs> Okay, that's a really cute. I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to wear that when Chips and I visit his island together today. And I'm going to see how quickly he notices that like, oh no, my leg is broken. All right, let's see. What do I want for my shoesies? Wingtip shoes? No. I think I want the ones I was wearing. The little business shoes. All right. And then for the bag... I really love this hand knit bag, but it doesn't quite match as much as the straw pouch yet does. Um, and I kind of miss having a hat on. So I think I'm going to go ahead and we'll put on this paperboy cap for now. I'm telling you guys, I don't care about clothes at all in real life, but as soon as we get into Animal Crossing, it's just too adorable to resist. <laughs> but okay, let's go to Kappa's Island and then we will surprise ourselves. Ooh, and I have a good idea. I need a fast track to Kappa's Island, right? Well, oh wait, I got rid of my vines! <laughs> well, we'll go ahead and we will try to get some vines or make a cute little path. There we go. And let's see what mysteries the islands hold for us today. The archipelago of the land. Hey, Kappa. All right, let's do this. <sighs> All right. Thank you very much for that, Captain. That was wonderful. I really had a great time. All right. He is ready to sleep now that he's gone ahead and taken us out on our little tour for the day. Ooh, we got to pick up this piece of amber. And here, oh, I got to clean up a lot of this. <gasps> but you guys, look! It's tomatoes! Tomatoes and potatoes and carrots. They're ready. We've got our adorable little garden up and ready to go. I am so happy about that. Oh my gosh. All right. So... Let me go ahead and change into my gardener gal outfit because it is time. And garden gal, I summon me! Got it! Oh my gosh, this is so cute! This is so cute! I am so happy right now! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's take a picture with our wonderful harvest. Also, I put up the other gazebo that we ordered, and Cranston's right behind me! <gasps> yes! Okay, I'm gonna have to go ahead and make him some food for today as well. All right. Friends, behold, the, our bounteous harvest. I am so happy about this. Let me see if I can position myself to be in an even better spot for this. All right, all right. And, oh, maybe I could even do some like up close pictures of our, our wonderful veggies, just like when you're playing uh, Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town. All right, all right, and then let me zoom in a little. There we go, oh, perfect. Oh, it's glorious. Wonderful. And now, ta-da! Yay, our very first big harvest. Okay, let's gather all these guys up. And we're actually gonna sell everything today because of the fact that I actually have no recipes that I can use these in yet. Because we need wheat. <laughs> Until we can eat the wheat, we unfortunately can't use any of these wonderful veggies in a recipe because we need to go ahead and uh, Wait until we learn more recipes. And on that note, I think we should hold some wild berry cooking classes and basically give every single one of our villagers some sort of cute little stove or oven, or even one of the big ones, since eventually we'll be able to like redo their houses anyway. All right, we're gonna grab this and this. 
Oh, this is such a bounteous harvest. Yes! All right, and that gives us, look at how many of them. Oh, we have so many carrots. I am so happy about this. Cranston! Hey, nice weather for a walk, huh? Oh, look, he's watering everything. I like watering flowers. It's nice to take care of something and see it grow. Okay. Like the bug nest I found under my floor. I keep putting snacks down there and it keeps growing. <laughs> Cranston, you're the perfect gardener for this area. I just know you're going to love it. All right, let's grab some of these apples and I'm going to make him an apple smoothie for the morning. Very important to feed Cranston. And then we'll go and sell all of these and see what our very first farm harvest on Wildberry Island actually yields. Okay, let's see. The only thing I can cook right now, not cherries. Oh, that's because I was stuck on the savory options. Okay. It's been so helpful to have this clay furnace outside. I need more outdoor cooking. All right, let's make apple smoothie. Got it. Nice. And next up we've got one more apple smoothie in case I run into any of the other villagers so that they can start enjoying some farm fresh local produce. Oh, and did I just unlock some sort of cooking? Uh, oh, it was this one. Cook up a storm. Oh, I'm so happy. All right. Let's take Cranston his food and then we're going to sell these and see what the first harvest is going to give us. Let's see. Oh, okay. Hey again. You keep checking up on me today, huh? What are you giving me? Cranston? For you. Please let me learn more cooking recipes from you, by the way. Well, you brought me an apple smoothie? Mmm. You're the best. You knew exactly what I was craving, crumb cake. I want to thank you. Here, man. Take a serving cart. I hope you like it, crumb cake. Okay, that's actually really appropriate. Good job, Cranston. I'm so proud of you. All right, so let's see. It's beautiful. Absolutely glorious. We can probably put some fancy meals on it at some point in the future. Oh, and if nothing else, it's good to have that variant of it in our inventory for our catalog. Robin, hey! Good morning. So happy to see you bright and early, Gemstone. I hope you have something exciting planned for today. <laughs> yes, well, you and Blanche are among the same thoughts. And let's go ahead and we're going to give an apple smoothie to Robin now. I wonder if those count as high enough rewards that we might get their pictures. Thanks so much, darling. My tummy thanks you as well, Gemstone. Well, I can't let you go away empty-handed now. Here, take a, kn a knife block! <gasps> oh, it's perfect for my kitchen! Thank you so much, Robin! Oh, every this has just been such a wonderful day, you guys. We've managed to go ahead and get new trees. We've got the greenhouse. We have a beautiful blossoming wisteria right next to us. Is that Mama Sky? Mama Sky is wandering around with a smoothie! Sweet Pea, glad to see you! I'm glad you're never too busy to check in with me, Butterbean. Oh, and Mama Sky is happy. And we have our very first harvest on Wildberry. It has been a very wonderful day. I have no complaints and I'm just completely happy. All right. Boys, time to see what the first harvest is going to yield us. We'll see if we need to make the farm much bigger than it already is. All right. We'll just sell the harvest. And... <gasps> yes! Okay, that's totally going to pay off. You guys! That's so many bells! Cranston's gonna make us so rich and we have even more things that are going to be ready. I am probably never gonna have to worry about money again, but Tom Nook is absolutely going to be getting so much of our money for ages because I don't have the, the storage expansions. But now I have dreams of that being able to come true. <sighs> progress finally <laughs> but all right guys thank you so much for joining me today our first harvest on wild berries some adorable new gyroids oh, a little bit of progress here and there we still have so much more oh yes pumpkins we still have so much more that we need to do but we can only take it one day at a time. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for our wonderful little wild harvest here on Wildberry. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye